The Acolyte is a mystery thriller that will take the audience into an unknown world of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers during the final days of the High Republic. Now, according to Lucasfilm, the High Republic era ends around 84 years before the Battle of Yavin, meaning that there is a very large possibility that we may see some familiar Jedi in the show, especially if the show takes place in the year 84 BBY. Now in today's video, we are going to go over 8 Jedi that could possibly make an appearance in Star Wars The Acolyte. But before we get started, remember to subscribe for more Star Wars content. Now let's get into today's video. Okay, so first on the list is obviously Grandmaster Yoda. Now it's unclear if Yoda will be serving as Grand Master during this time, but he is very much alive and active within the Jedi Order and the Republic. Perhaps he will play a key role in uncovering the mysterious dark side powers that are emerging. He knows that always two there are, and maybe we will see Yoda learn about the rule of two or other Sith lore in this show. Seeing a younger version of him would be interesting, especially because during this time of the High Republic he would be more energetic and less worn down by war and the shroud of the dark side. I mean, we've really only seen Yoda when he was past his prime. So for us to go back and see a more spry and lively Yoda would be something to look forward to. We could also see him right as he is in the process of training another familiar face, his former apprentice, Count Dooku. Count Dooku, or at this time simply known as Dooku, was born 102 years before the Battle of Yavin. So if the show takes place in 84 BBY, then that means that Dooku will be around the age of 18 right in the middle of his apprenticeship with Master Yoda. Seeing a young Count Dooku just as he's entering into his prime would be great. Just the idea of having him and Yoda going around on some adventures together and being able to experience their bond would give so much more depth to their relationship in Episode 2 and in the Clone Wars from what we see. We would be able to get to know Dooku before he was corrupted by the dark side, before Sidious gained control over him. Perhaps this show would even let us see Dooku's first taste of darkness. I mean, the show is going to deal with dark side secrets, and maybe Yoda and Dooku are the ones to uncover some of it, and Dooku will begin to fall or to flirt with temptation and with the dark side. We may also see Count Dooku with someone who was once a good friend of his, the young Jedi, sifo -Dyas. Sifo-Dyas, decades before he commissioned the Cloners on Kamino to make the Grand Army of the Republic, was a youngling. It's unclear when he was born, but him and Dooku were younglings at the same time, so it's safe to assume that they were around the same age, if not just a few years apart. sifo is one of the most interesting and mysterious characters within all the lore of Star Wars. We know about his role in the Clone Wars and how he had an extreme ideology that caused him to create the Clone Army, but outside of that scope, we know very little about him. The Acolyte could give us a chance to see sifo in a different light, and just like Dooku, perhaps we could see the rising darkness and this is when his paranoia and worry would set in, causing him to go down the path of extremism and eventually leading to him creating the clone army. sifo and Dooku, as we know, were close friends. They were even in the same youngling clan under the direction of Terra Sanube, and we could see this friendship explored more fully in the Acolyte. It would be great to add another layer to this already complex and mysterious character. Terra Sunube is another Jedi that could possibly make an appearance in the Acolyte. We didn't see him in any of the live action films, but we did get a whole story arc of him and Ahsoka during the Clone Wars, where they were searching for Ahsoka's lost lightsaber and he taught the young Padawan to have patience when dealing with a difficult situation. A nice change of pace from Anakin Skywalker's more aggressive strategy. He is very old and, according to Wikipedia, was born sometime before 104 BBY, but it is assumed that he was born much earlier. This would put him in an ideal spot for an appearance in the Acolyte. He may even be sitting on the council during the time of the show. In the Clone Wars arc, Jocasta Noon, the Jedi Temple Librarian, said that he is an expert on the Coruscant crime world. So could we possibly see him delving into the mysteries that have been hinted at of the show? Perhaps the dark side is brewing in the lower levels of Coruscant, and it's his job to go undercover and discover the dark secrets. Another interesting point regarding Master Sanube is that he was in charge of a group of younglings called the Hawkbat clan, which included Dooku and sifo so again we could see their relationship expanded even further in the Acolyte. Another Jedi, or in this case, youngling, that we could see would be an 8-year-old version of Ki-Adi Mundi, as he was born in the year 92 BBY. 
Now, I know that no one is going to want to see some pointy-headed youngling running around before he even knows what he's doing, but it would still be awesome just to see a cameo of him. Perhaps he would just be walking around the temple or in a training session with Master Yoda or Master Sanube. Either way, the timelines match, so Kiati Mundi is alive during the final days of the High Republic. Another obvious Jedi that we could see is Yaddle. She is of Yoda's species and because of this is extremely old and blessed with a very long life. She was around the age of 477 during the events of Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, meaning that she could be in her early to mid 400s during the time of the Acolyte. Now we didn't get to see much of Yaddle in the live action, but she was said to be extremely wise and powerful, so perhaps this show could expand on her character. I made a theory about how the Acolyte's main character would start off as a young, over-eager Jedi Padawan. Perhaps her master will be Yaddle. Now that would be interesting to see. Another Jedi that was also present during the High Republic era was none other than Jedi Master Even Peel. Now, not much is known about this wise master, but it says that he is long lived. We saw Master Peel in live action as he was a member of the Jedi High Council, and we also saw him in the Clone Wars animated TV show, where he met his untimely end on the Citadel. Because he's such a powerful and stubborn Jedi, he would be a very interesting addition to the show, and plus it would be awesome to see Master Peel again in a different era. The eighth and final Jedi that we could possibly see in Star Wars The Acolyte is Jedi Master Opo Rancisis. Born 206 years before the Battle of Yavin, he is well within the age range to make an appearance in The Acolyte. We didn't see much of the heavily bearded Jedi in live action, or in the Clone Wars, but since he was a sitting member of the Jedi High Council, we can only assume that he was wise and powerful. He was also apprenticed to Yaddle, so seeing them together would be interesting. Perhaps we could see them still in training, or going on missions together, very similar to Obi-Wan and Anakin. Star Wars The Acolyte has a chance to tell so many stories from so many different characters' perspectives, and really set up the beginning of the end for the Republic. Yes, I am hoping for a more dark side tone or a dark side version of Star Wars, but perhaps we can also see the Jedi begin to spiral. Perhaps we can see them coming out of the Golden Age and becoming too arrogant and allowing the Sith to gain more power. The Acolyte has the chance to set up the prequels in a way that has never been seen before, and also explore the adventures and life of so many Jedi like we have just talked about. I sincerely hope that they take advantage of this. Well, that's it for today's video. If you liked what you saw today, leave a like and a comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more Star Wars content. The support I've been getting is unreal and I cannot wait to keep making more videos for you guys. And remember to forever be a Star Wars fan.